We all know that in algebra, to get value of two variables, we need two equations. But in today's question, we have got single equation in two variables where x and y are natural numbers. Let's solve this amazing question with a simple solution. So let's start with y plus 10. It's getting multiplied in LHS, so it will go and divide RHS. So here denominator we have a plus b, numerator we have a cube plus I need here 10 cube. So for that I need 1000. So for same we will add 101 and subtract 101. So it becomes 1000 here. So we'll have x is y cube plus 10 cube minus 101 upon y plus 10. So here we have a cube plus b cube. So let's apply the algebraic identity for a cube plus b cube. So we'll get x as a plus b, a square plus b square minus a b. So in numerator we have got two terms. The first term is this and second term is this minus 101. So let's write this term separately. Now here the first term y plus 10 will get cancelled down. So we'll reduce with x is y square plus 100 minus 10y minus 101 upon y plus 10. Now x is a natural number, y is also a natural number. Now this full value will give me an integral answer. So for x to be integer, I need besides this, I need this green part should be an integer. Now this green part will be an integer if and only if y plus 10 will completely divide 101. That means y plus 10 is factor of 101. Then only this part will become integer and this is also integer. Then only x will be integer and then we can say it a natural number. So y plus 10 is factor of 101. But 101 is a prime number. It has got only two factors 1 and 101 itself. So we can say that y plus 10 is 1 or y plus 10 is 101. Now here when we will solve it, we will get y as negative 9. But given is y is a natural number. So this option is invalid. So solving this, we will get y as 91. Putting this value in the equation, we will get x as 7470. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.